Hello everyone! So in this video, we're going to learn how to solve a probability mass function of a discrete random variable, as well as doing some histogram. Okay. So first, here, example. A box of light bulbs has five defective bulbs and three working bulbs. If three bulbs are taken simultaneously, determine the possible values of the random variable D that represents the number of defected light bulbs. Create a histogram for the probability distribution. Then here, we have five def defective bulbs and three working bulbs. And then, if three bulbs are taken simultaneously, determine the possible values of the random variable D that represents the number of defective bulbs. So, here, for defective block bulbs and W for working bulbs. Since it says, says here three bulbs are taken, so defective working, defective working, defective working, defective working, defective working. So, so three, so one, two, and three. So D D D, so D D D, D D W, D W D, D W W, D W D. D W D W W W W D and then triple W. it since it says here three bulbs are taken simultaneously and D represents the number of defective bulbs. So count the D defective block bulbs. So in here as 3 D, 2 D, 2, 1 D, 2 D, 1 D, 1, and 0. So we have 0, 1, and 2, and 3. So, so for 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 0, 1 only. For 1 is 1, 2, 3. For 2 is 1, 2, 3. And then for 3 is 1. So, we're gonna make a table. So, X and D of X. So, 0, 1, 2, Three. Okay, so we're gonna use a fraction. So for zero is we have one eight eight because one one two three four five six seven eight for one is three eight for two is three eight and for three is one eight. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is create a histogram. So we have the 0, the 1, the 2, the 3. And then here, 1, 8, 2, 8, so... So for 1, 8, for 0 is 1, 8, so here... And then for 1 is 3, 8. So 3, 8. Mm -hmm. For 2 is also 3, 8. Hey. Then for 3 is 1, 8. And then you have to share with 8. And that's it.
So first, we use this mode model. So then next is identify the possible outcome on our sample space, the D D D the D D W, and then we create a table for the x and the p of x, and then lastly the histogram. A mango form has 1,760 trees where each tree produces 100 to 500 good quality mangoes yearly. Let x be the number of quality mangoes that a mango tree produces. The probability distribution p of x is represented below. If a mango tree is selected at a random, what is the chance that the tree pairs at least 300 mangoes? How many trees can produce at least at least 300 mangoes in a year. As you can see here, our x is in hundreds. Hence, 5 is 500, 4 is 400, 3, 2, and 1 is in hundreds. And p of x here is 0 0.08 for 500, 0 0.18 for 400, and so on. So here, as you can see, we have two questions. What is the chance that a tree bears at least 300 mangoes and how many trees can produce at least 300 mangoes in a year. So we're gonna solve the first question. Since it says here, what is the chance that the tree bears at least 300? So at least, so the sign here is B X less than equal 3 because it says here at least 3 so 3 up so the 300 400 and the 500 okay so the 3 the 3 to 5 is the p of x is you have to add them so if you watch my previous video about the Solving random variables of discrete random variables, you might know how we ended up like this. So, B, X equals to 3, plus B, X equals to 4, plus B, X equals to 5. So, our B, X equals to 3 is 0 0.21. Px4 is 0 0.18 and Px5 is 0.08. Now, if you sum all of them, the answer will be 0 0.47. Now, for our first question is, the chance that the tree bears at least 300 mangoes is 0 0.47. Okay. So next is to our second question. So it says here, how many trees can produce at least 300 mangoes in a year? Okay. So in a year, it says here 1,760 mang trees. Okay. And then you have to multiply it. 0.47 okay so the answer of this is 827.2 but since there are no trees that has a decimal point therefore we're gonna use the full whole number so the 827 mango trees in a year so, therefore, there are 827 mango trees in a year. So, first answer and then a second answer. Now, lastly, we're gonna, we're gonna draw a histogram of this. to 0 0.23 here for our 2 is we have 
827 mango trees in a year and then we create a histogram based from our table okay so i hope you learn a lesson for this video and if you have questions don't forget to comment down below